okay oh uh, all right that's just how many times in a row can you do this <laughs> Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a really, really stupid Skyrim experience with two goals in mind, achieve a bounty of 5,000 in all nine holds within the game, and raise money for Alzheimer's research. I joined a bunch of other Elder Scrolls and Fallout creators in supporting Wes Johnson's initiative for charity, which during the main fundraising period raised over $30,000. I don't have any experience running fundraising or charity events, I'm a complete rookie when it comes to all of this. so. Here's the full story of how we contributed to that number, and thanks to all of you who have supported the channel, destroyed Skyrim for charity. I want to ask each and every streamer and content creator out there to join me in an epic battle and drop the gloves on a disease that affects 55 million people worldwide every year. I'm talking about Alzheimer's. The clip you just saw was posted by Wes Johnson a few weeks ago. I'll assume most of us here are familiar with his roles voice acting in Bethesda games. If you round up the number, I think it's somewhere in the area of 1 billion. Stop! You violated the law! I'll leave a link to the video as Wes shares a very personal story about his family's experience with Alzheimer's. It's not my story to share, but it is the catalyst that drove him to recruiting the community to join in on the charity. My family has also been affected by Alzheimer's in recent years, so it felt like a no-brainer for me to join in and try to do my part. I thought creating a charity would be easy, but it was actually much harder than I thought it would be, and if you're a first-timer, maybe you'll learn something along the way. Coming up with ideas and goals is hard, so you can either post on Craigslist, Quora, or maybe ask Jeeves if that's still a thing, or use the unpaid labor of Twitch chat to help you design the charity. 5k in each hold and have to pay it off? <laughs> okay, we'll make that tentative. In all nine holds, pay off bounty. Maybe this is foreshadowing too much, but I don't plan on doing that second part. Marry Teldrin. I don't know, can you marry Teldrin? Let's 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 reach high, right? Let's let's aim high. If we aim high, then maybe maybe we, you know, donate a lot of money. Every disease at a hundred. My fear is what if we what if you guys crush it and we hit it early? And then I'm just stuck on legendary the whole time. Five thousand dollar goal. If we hit five thousand, I will restart the entire challenge. That's funny, but I like randomized species. I think legendary and survival mode should be lofty goals. We'll come back to this list in a bit, but the next step is to put the fun in fundraiser. Sure, we can raise some money and hit some goals, but let's make it a bit more interesting. Using the third-party application Crowd Control, you can allow your fundraisers hundreds of different abilities in-game to make your experience terrible. Terrible. They're, they're gonna make it terrible. If there's one thing I've learned about my Twitch chat, it's that they follow Murphy's Law. Anything they can make go wrong, they will. But the joke's on them. They'll fall for my charity trap card and accidentally spend way too much to ensure I have a tough time accomplishing my goals. After about an hour of setting this up, it's time to test. Just like the children's stories and the legends. All right, guys, you better give me a children's story slash legend for the ages. Oh man, I feel like I should be recording this. We're doing so well. You know, I'm not taking his armor. I want this bandit's. No, this is immersive. Wow. One minute, 10 seconds. You guys crashed my game. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. <laughs> How many of you sent me to jail? <laughs> Here, let me see if I can get those. What does that mean? What does that mean? How'd you get 110 coins? There's a dragon in the jail. Oh, <laughs> I thought I was in trouble. Did you guys just free him? Did he not get executed? Oh my god, what? he was free to go! <laughs> he was free! Why did you do that? <laughs> I know you might be thinking there isn't enough happening on screen. It's not crowded at all between effect purchases, chat acting like uncaged animals, in-game effect pop-ups, and my dumb face plastered in the corner. I hate to disappoint most of you, but uh, these will go away in a few. But uh, the good news is the application works. Chat can break my game in a variety of ways to their heart's content. You want to make sure to end your testing period so as to leave both you and your fundraisers excited for the real event. For the actual challenge goals, I gave myself 5 hours to obtain a bounty of 5,000 or greater in all 9 holds. My chat had the ability to raise money by way of the usual Twitch methods or activating effects in game. Between $50 and $250 raised, we have a few side adventures that we'll have to complete alongside our main objective, and between $500 and $1,000 raised are some serious debuffs to make our journey a bit harder. 
much harder, if I'm being honest. I also gave my chat the ability to purchase 10 minutes of playing as a random species if they made a single donation of $25 or more. Just to clarify in case anybody's wondering, I didn't make any money off of this stream. This was all 100% for charity. Unfortunately for the flow of the challenge, but fortunately for our goals in charity, we smashed through several goals before I could even finish explaining the rules. We will re-implement, we have crowd control. All right, all right. Well, we like you. Let's go. Uh, who threw? Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> we've already we've already destroyed. What is happening? <laughs> we already have to marry Teldrin. You get the idea. All right. Five hours on the clock. Our goal is set. It's time to see what magic we can create together. Storm clouds. Maybe we can raise them with them. Okay. You picked a bad time to get lost, Ooh. friend. I can't attack. Hadvar, you're on your own. Hold on. I need to leave. <laughs> this is too dangerous for me. Stop, 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 stop. Stop it. I will I will shuffle away as fast as possible. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. We can just saunter through nice and easy. Hello, Stormcloaks, how are you? Good to see you. Oh, shit. I don't know if it works when I'm playing as a... You bastard, who <laughs> sent me to jail? No, <laughs> I was making such good progress. Yes, tactical cow, tactical cow. Bulgriff, what, I, I swear, this is not what it looks like. It's, oh, Bulgriff, defend me. <laughs> no, I can't fit through the grate. I'm stuck in jail. The guards, they've opened the door. Go, <laughs> run cow. I'm out of here. <laughs> the worst security ever. Early on in this challenge, my Twitch chat really seemed to favor either teleporting me to different locations in order to throw me off, random fast travel. Oh, I'm in Markarth, which wasn't always terrible, as at the time I still didn't have a bounty in most towns, or they just choose to spawn enemies, most commonly mud crabs. Wait, ma'am! No, <laughs> no, I couldn't save her! Oh no, are you talking about me? If I'm gonna be here, I need to get a really high bounty. Why is it always mud crabs? They also really enjoyed. Okay, uh, all right, that's just, how many times in a row can you do this? The thing about Nords is they always land on their feet. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, how many times? Okay, we're just gonna keep doing this now. <laughs> no, he's not just a Nord. He's the greatest gymnast in all of Tamriel. You guys think the explosion of cheese is funny, but I'll tell you what. Oh no! No, my cheese! <laughs> it's okay. Just uh, launch me back up into the cheese and we'll call it even. Okay, someone launch me in like three seconds. Launch. I request launching. Uh, not quite. Hi, guard. How are you? Oh no, get up. <laughs> get up. <laughs> no, get up. No, <laughs> I'm surrounded. Oh god, I was so close to the cheese. <laughs> no. Finally making progress. Keep pushing and eventually you'll be able to fight through all the nonsense and move towards completing some of your goals. I stopped by and picked up my son Rufus so that he could tag along. All right, Rufus, they're all distracted. Let's take care of this. Ah, oh, come on, that's bad timing. Don't you just knocked him. <laughs> you just destroyed my child. Now all that's left before getting started with my bounties is hopping on a boat to Solstheim. Unfortunately, there's a dialogue sequence in the way, which is so much harder to get through than you might think. These guys are so racist that they're like more focused on their racism than the invasion of mud crabs. I can do this. Is that my bear? Tell me it's my bear, please. No, nope, not my bear. All right, finally, I have a ride out of here. I can't get off this horse. Oh, never mind. That's how, that's how we get off the horse. I'm busy doing the fish stick. It's a very delicate state of mind. We finally figured out a way to stop the mud crab menace. <laughs> what is happening right now? Goodbye, friends. Wait, everything is spawning up. Why is everything floating away now? I just need a ride. I, I need a, I need a ride. Can, can I ride on your boat? I'll rip your heart out. Talk to Captain Gallon. If you're looking for passengers, talk to Captain Gallon. I'm trying to talk to Captain Gallon, but he keeps giving me the stink eye. Captain if you're looking Yellen? How much will it cost me? Are you shitting me? Uh, can I get on a horse as a... No, it crashes the game. Getting to Soul's time is a challenge. Mud crabs are 25. The mud crab economy has officially been nerfed. It's for charity. What it didn't take into account about the mud crabs that constantly kept popping up is they were significantly cheaper than anything else. So yeah, sorry to the mud crab economy, but uh, if you want more mud crabs, you're gonna have to contribute more to Alzheimer's research. Thomas, why'd you give me the thousand gold? I keep forgetting Rufus is even here. 
if you ask me. Like, come on, come on, come on, come on. Stop. I don't, don't care about the conversation. Uh, Made it. Now that we're in Solstheim, I can finally marry Teldrin. In order to do this, I downloaded a mod called A Serious Wedding. Of course, this means we'll need to battle the elements again in order to get through more dialogue. Stop, 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 stop. I'm interested in you, Teldrin. Are you serious? Yeah, I gave you 500 gold. I love you. I'm professing my love, and it's incredibly rude of you all to interrupt me. Yeah, right, son? Ouch. Hey. <laughs> Rufus, uh, you're acting strange. Why don't you, uh, why don't you get some move sleep? It, move it. Okay, all right, fine. We're moving along. I'd marry you right now, right this second. You oh. son of a- Ah, oh, what do you have against me loving Teldrin? Are you serious? Yes, we- uh, Don't- don't touch- that, that's- that's soon to be my fiancé, okay? Don't touch him there. Rude. Oh, we keep spawning horses! <laughs> all of my friends are gonna be able to make our wedding, Teldrin. Now, they're, they're all equines, but oh, I'll tell you what, they are really excited. There's gonna be a ton of sugar cubes at the wedding. So what, are, what are you doing? What, what are you doing here? Yeah, no need to be shy about your feelings, Teldrin. We've been through a lot together. I can hardly wait. So we've picked up Teldrin and Rufus, at least honoring two out of our three charity goals because for some reason I couldn't get Nazim as a follower working right, and I was already being bombarded by enough random chaos that I needed to move on and start making some actual progress. We're already close enough to our final goal, so I made a deal that once I get two locations checked off my list, I'll activate the three debuffs that I'm sure will make for a good time. That's gotta be a thousand bounty already. Get him, Teldrin! Move! Burn! <laughs> Burn everybody! Jarl, I'm sorry. Uh, look, it's just a quick visit. Okay, whenever I play a song on my recording, it's very hard to edit around, but uh, that one's a banger, and I haven't used it since the Solstime video, so... All right, let's make our great escape. All right, at least just get away from this guy because he's doing a lot of damage. I gotta get out of town. Can we go acrobatic with the Atronach? I'm a very big target. I'm afraid. Holy God, the entire town. Rufus is trying to jump out of here. Oh, crap. Rufus, defend your father. Who's shooting at me now? I gotta get under the bridge. Come on, Orker. You can do it. Get over the rocks. Under the bridge. Take cover. <laughs> go. Okay, I've got Rufus here to defend me. Teldrin can also do it. No, really, we're in the middle of talking to the police. Can you not attack my child? Get over the rock. Go. Go, Horker. Yes. Freedom. Slink your way to exoneration. All right, it's a bunch of minors. Um, not like, not like children. Laborers. 1,000 bounty. Okay, got it. I'm out of here. Later, nerds. Why is it always bunny? Oh. 10 minutes as a bunny with a dragon flying around town. Now the good news about the dragon is that there is no good news about the dragon. Okay, maybe you can just launch me out of town. Just get me out of Whiterun, I'll be safe that way. I don't know if the dragon will attack me up here, but I'm safe. I can wait out the storm. 10 minutes, I can wait this out. Rufus seems to have a handle on this on his own. He's doing okay. Ooh, increased speed. That's what I'm talking about. Finally, some assistance from chat. Probably a bad place for a bunny to hang out. Stop it. Enough with this nonsense. <laughs> I got the door. I saved myself. I'm not letting them get me. That's how you escape a mud crab attack. You catch the door in midair. So two locations are down with seven to go. I'm about three hours into the challenge so far and we've already destroyed most of our goals. So for the final stretch, I'm activating all other debuffs, including timed ragdolls, every disease in the game, and I'm placing the game into survival mode. Let me preface this by saying this was tough. And I think there's a few moments coming up here where I almost forgot that this was all just a fun, goofy challenge for charity. I swear, I'm still a nice person. Welcome to the Winking Skeever, friend. Sure thing, it's yours for a day. Please behave yourselves, chat, behave yourselves. Oh, not that one. Get around the door. Who slowed me down? Tell you get out of the doorway. Why am I moving in slow motion? Got it. Six hours of sleep, that's gotta be enough. Don't run away, don't run. There we go, got her. What is going on? What these explosions? I think I just revived people. More apples. Oh, 
No, Teldrin! <laughs> I accidentally killed Teldrin. Oh no, by the gods, this can't be happening. <laughs> Teleport in jail while I'm dead. Dragon bone weapon. Dragon bone mace. Come here. You got no one to save you now. Oh, essential. God, everyone is essential in this town. Not you. Welcome to the Bard's College. <laughs> <laughs> to whoever put me in Windhelm, thank you. Come here, Giordano. It's not delivery, it's Giordano. <laughs> God dang, man. Is every NPC in this game essential? Now, huh? ah! <laughs> oh, Rufus, don't be afraid. These are just daddy's friends. These are my gambling buddies. We're back. Fuck you. Two more locations off the board, but at this point, survival mode has made things nearly impossible. Blurred vision, lowered health, and magic pools. Food isn't much of an issue because chat kept giving me apples by the hundreds, but sleeping is where it really gets tough because I can't sleep if enemies are nearby. This also makes travel extremely difficult as the negative effects from survival not only lower your stats, but they keep your character's running speed slower than my brain picking up on a woman's signals. Yeah, I need to sleep. Is there an inn here? I'll show you to your room. No, you won't. No, stop, stop. Let me just get into the bed normally. Own oh, bed, where the fuck is my bed then? Okay, it's in here. Oh. I appreciate your patronage, ma'am, but I'm really sorry. I have to do this. You're essential. Fishermen are always essential. No, 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 not into the pole. What are you doing? You're not even gonna help? You're just gonna stand there and watch all this occur? Yeah, I feel the need to shame each and every one of you. Now he decides to fight. Well, I'm sorry. I request speed boost. Not quite the speed boost I needed, but... I wish I had more stamina, but it recharges real slow when I'm in the cold. All right, Waluigi, freezing me. <laughs> it's a battle right now between people freezing and people increasing speed. Made it, we're in Dawnstar. Carl? Oh, not essential. Yeah, his name's Carl. Yes, two. Okay, that's two. Why is my health so low? Because it's survival mode, and you're in the freezing cold, and your max health lowers really fast. In order to recover, you need to get inside where it's warm. Only problem is... Rufus, I need you to be a good distraction while I warm up over here, okay? Daddy's hands are numb. Shield me, cow. <gasps> More cows. Keep spawning cows. They'll defend me. <laughs> I need them to block me. <laughs> Keep me warm. No, put the arrows... There we go. All right, I'm defended. I'm fully blocked by cow meat. We're just... Fuck off, lady. Suck my... Please don't... Okay, please isn't gonna help. I don't have any manners. You should know that by now. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to hug it. It looked very inviting. You know, just a light snack, 40 apples. No, 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 no that's not the way we need. Oh, you didn't have to get off your horse for me. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks for your donation to the challenge. Have a good one, traveler. Are you gonna come at me with that little toothpick? Two down. I thought we did. I thought we were done with this crap. Victory is yours. I <laughs> That's got to be 4,000. Ah, no! I was just about to do the kill shot and I had to go floppy mode. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Before I let you into Riften, you need to pay the visitor's tax. More apple, more nutrition. Why does it require a king? More apple more there's a lot of great ones that don't necessarily do challenge stuff like um that's such a dick move you're not funny you're not you're not cutesy <laughs> you're not clever F you that's where we're at at this point you're a colossal wiener you're a you're a floppy piece. that's what you are <laughs> god it's just 
I'm right there. I'm at the end. Oh, there we go. Now that is speed. 1,000 bounty added to the pail. Infinite stamina, speed, go. Run. We're back in warmth. And we have achieved a 5,000 or greater bounty in every single hold for a total lifetime bounty of 57,000. And you thought you could stop me.